Hi there, Greg from Saint Laurent Jeep and Ram. If I had to rate Chrysler on a scale of one to 10, it would be a 300. This beautiful 2013 300S obviously belonged to a very caring and very stylish senior citizen. He put these nice chrome overlays right here around the, uh, around the windows. Of course, we got the uh, stock 20 inch Chrysler 300S rims, which are outfitted right now with Firestone Firehawk tires. They're 245, 45, 20s. Got these nice overlays over the back lights. You got that nice fin up at the top of the back windshield. Also not stock. Also very good looking. If anybody has a good mafia joke, feel free to leave it in the comments because we are going to look in the trunk of the Mighty Chrysler 300 now, and it does indeed have a mighty trunk. Mats are back there right now, of course, for the convenience of the customer. We got the subwoofer over here, the beat subwoofer underneath. Compartment there is where your battery is. That's actually going back from the architecture from the Mercedes days, having the battery in the trunk. These do share a lot of DNA with the Mercedes E-Class, like even the W220 suspension, giving it such a nice ride, is uh, Mercedes architecture. Under the hood here, we have the popular and versatile 3.6 liter Pentastar with 292 horsepower and 264 foot-pounds of torque. Now on the Chrysler 300, it's a longitudinal build. That way. We got the eight-speed ZF HP70 as the transmission mated to it. Of course, in the 300, they, it was the first of the, uh, the cars to adapt the eight-speed in 2012, the Challenger and the Charger that wasn't adapted until the 2015 models. As soon as you sit down in here, you can't believe this is a 2013. Uh, the guy kept this so clean. I mean, it smells like a wallet. And I'm not just saying that because it's one third the price of a new one. Look at this too. I'll rate right up to date this thing. We got navigation. You got the heated seats. You got the remote starter. You got auto on comfort. So you want those heated seats to come on when it's cold. Uh, this one actually predates the dial shifter, which some people don't really like. I mean, shifter is a shifter, right? But on this one, it's the lever. Before 2015, it was the lever. And uh, we can put it from there to drive, right? You can throw it down, then you go into sport mode. I'm not gonna do that, it's not my car. Then we go back to park here, go back to reverse. There's your nice backup camera with the, with the lines. You could spend over $60,000 on a European luxury car comparable to this one. Or you could spend less than $20,000 on this one. But to do that, you gotta come to 900 St. Laurent Boulevard. St. Laurent Jeep and Ram.